Hi, the Panopto iPad app can be used to view recordings that have been made of your lectures or any content that have been made available to you as a student. And to view these, you'll simply need to download the iPad app from the App Store. And you can do this just by going into the App Store and searching for Panopto. That will then appear in your App Store and you'll be able to install that and it will be available on your device. Clicking and opening the Panopto app will then give you access to the basic functionality of this and you'll be able to use the sign in button in the top left to access all recordings that are available to you. Now on the first time that you use the app you will be required to enter an address into the set up your Panopto site area and to do this you'll just need to enter the following address ljmutest hosted.panopto.com Once you've typed that in, click the sign in button and then you'll be presented with the next screen and this is how you log on to Panopto every time you access it and so you'll need to just click sign in and then you'll need to enter your LJMU username and password and click on login. Once logged in you'll be presented with the all sessions tab which will show all the sessions from the modules that you enrolled in on Blackboard. You'll be able to scroll through these or you'll be able to actually click on the recently watched area which will show you the most recent recordings you've seen and you'll also be able to click browse and this will present you with all the module folders that are available to you and you'll be able to scroll through these and select a folder to view any recordings that are within it. Once you've selected a folder, you'll be able to click onto a recording and this will open it up in viewing mode. And you'll be presented with anything that's made available to you at the time. If you actually click onto the screen, it'll give you the options to actually close down the recording by clicking done or go to the folder from which the recording was made. At the bottom of the screen, you have the play controls and you'll be able to click on any of the slides for instance and that will scroll you through the recording or you'll be able to pause the recording using this here the arrow with the 10 on it will scroll you back 10 seconds and you can actually click and drag the cursor to anywhere any point in the recording the timing on the recording left is on the right hand side and you can even click on the speed controlling to speed up the speed at which the recording plays so or even slow it down if you wish. You may also have the option to record and upload and this will enable you to make your own videos using your iPad or your iPhone and you'll only be able to do this if your lecturer has enabled a Dropbox folder for you and a Dropbox folder is something like this so when you click on the record and upload button you'll be presented with a folder and you'll be able to select that folder. You'll then be presented with a basic screen which will allow you to either start making a recording directly within Panopto and this is just using the iPad or iPhone the camera or microphone or you'll be able to choose a video that you've already pre-recorded. You'll then be taken through a screen which will allow you to actually upload the recording to Panopto